Now that you're here, what do you think is going to be the key to winning the Mary Hill Free Ride? You're going to have to have a lot of fun and dodge a lot of people. Hello, my name is Nate with OFTV. Today I'm here to talk to you about the Mary Hill Free Ride, one of the only ways that you can skate the famous Mary Hill Road. It's in the middle of nowhere in Goldendale, Washington. Here's a quick pan shot to show you how there is nothing around. Windmills, open grass fields, and a big hole in the ground they call the Columbia River. Here you can see it right now. Every sign within about a mile of the place is covered in skateboarding stickers, and every corner on the road is covered with nice fluffy hay bales. And look, more windmills. More windmills, and look at a U-Haul truck. That'll take you to the top of the hill. This guy from the Netherlands is excited to skate, as long as all these other badasses. You pack yourself into the U-Haul, hanging onto the sides is good, and then you get drug up the 3.2 miles that is Mary Hill in order to stand at the top under one of the only trees on the property that provides shade. One of the themes of this free ride was lots of wind. Lots and lots of wind. You'll notice that this guy is about to start stretching. Um, stretching, not really that useful. It's a downhill sport, just sit there and look good. Um, people just stand around at the top for about 10, 15 minutes, just looking good, and then kind of as if, as if someone said something, everyone just takes off at once. And this is what that looks like. You'll notice that when coming into these corners in large packs like that, standing up and slowing down is typically done. It's called air braking, and it's really an effective way to regulate your speed while on the course, especially considering that a lot of these corners are very difficult and very hard to make. It speeds upwards of 40 miles an hour. In this corner, you can see that it's very much a hairpin, and you're about to see three falls of people who safely slide to a stop on their leather suits with full face helmets on. This event's really a great place to learn how to ride with other people in large groups in a completely closed off safe environment. You can see that the road's pretty much an ideal location for this type of activity. The road's practically carved into the sides of the hills, which prove very dramatic looking. They allow classic lounge and street lounge on the hill as well, so anyone who enjoys gravity on roads is allowed to participate. This shot really shows how unique the road is in the sense that it comes around and then back on itself very quickly. The fact that people are able to ride within a couple inches of each other through these very extreme corners is almost a poorly choreographed but well executed play. It's almost beautiful in a way. Right after you get about seven to eight runs in, it's lunchtime, which is awesome because your legs are typically jello. Add a waffle, some yogurt, some cereal. Generally, other old guys like me. Excellent. There's so many cool people here that I can't even say, you know? It's been, every time I come here, it's so awesome. There's so many people here that are. Good people. Uh, maybe Max Whipperman. How come? Because he's fast. And I like skating with him behind him. Well, I'd like to think it's because they're good here, but I would say it's more realistically because I always bring some to sell. And uh, when people smoke their wheels, they have to buy some, and they're the only ones available. <laughs> yeah, Mary Hill, pretty much anybody's fun to skate with because you can just get in it. It's every deal. Really like skating with Dooler. Here Zach gives everyone else an opportunity to catch back up. It's way better to skate with friends. This is Dino Zuna. He's the event organizer. He does this year after year to give people an opportunity to come out and skate in a safe environment. This is the table that you sign your life away. It's a pretty scenic view. Good place to do it if you've got it. This is the bottom of the hill where everyone parks and mingles at the end of everyone and talks about how sketchy it is. And after lunch, Everyone piles back into those hot U-Hauls, drag back up to the top of the hill in order to go play downhill dynamite one more time. You'll notice that the wind did not stop. While sitting on the side of the hill, I got a couple time lapses. This is what those look like. <clears throat> yeah, clouds. They're beautiful. Once I was done filming clouds, I got some really cool shots from a distance. Sit back and be lazy with a 200mm lens and really get some great slow pans of just large groups of people having some of the best turns of their life. Here's a great section of Ambulance Corner. And this is a really long hill. What we're seeing right now is only about four corners of about 23. 
Takes about three minutes and six seconds if you're a professional to get to the bottom of the hill. It's a little bit easier with a pack of friends because everyone gets to use the draft provided by the person in front of them in order to get down the hill quicker. Here's a great shot showing everyone doing exactly that. And those people in front break the air and the people behind get to benefit. Man, being in a pack like that, you really hope the person in front doesn't fall. Luckily in this shot, no one did. It's always good to see everything go right. At the end of the day, most people like to go and camp in at Goldendale. There's a small group of people that like to head down to a place where you can see a train drive by in a glorious mountainside. You can also hear frogs croaking. The frogs are a good sign that you've reached the campground of the professionals. Never shot a gun. Me? I shot one when I was like... Yeah. <laughs> What's the key to winning the Mary Hill free ride? It's about the love and I didn't move my car. What do you think the key to winning the free ride is? Bone attack! What is that? <laughs> <laughs> my hands down on my ankles and just some of that shit. I like it. I like it. Is the event organizer Dino? Yeah. Move! Move! You're still in the way. Oh, I got stuck for it. 